Hello, I'm going to break down and see if I can find, figure out what this Planet X thing is. You just you can do some research and really digging into this. Here's Jeremiah, Jeremiah's warning, warning. Disasters will soon spread from nation to nation. They will come like a powerful storm to all the faraway places on earth. The destroyer will come against every town. Not one town will escape. Um, so Yahweh said this will happen. Jeremiah 25, 32 and 48 verse 8. So he talks about this and here is this Colburn Bible. I'll link it in the description box. So we know now people call it Planet X. So I'll get into that in a little bit. But I wanted to go down here. It talks about some of the manuscripts and um, what the ancients called it. So I was like, well, hmm. So I wonder if we could go back to, you know, the Paleo Hebrew that I just learned about. And then when I looked in this um, Strong's for Red Dragon, so red meant f like fire. And I, he, we know he's going to purge the... Um, this time he's going to purge the land with fire and it goes down and it talks about the, the serpent and, and what that can mean and and different things like that in the mat in the manuscripts but the ancients so in the ancient hebrews and the egyptians called it the destroyer now um i forget who it was the Sum samaritans I think that's who it was. It's down here somewhere. Here's destroyer, and you can. I'm scrolling down here because you couldn't do your own research. It was called the Nibiru by the Sumerians, the destroyer by the Egyptians and Hebrews, the Phaeton by the Greeks, Ty, Typhon by Pliny, and the Frightener by the Celts. So we went through this now. I looked in the, so I'm looking in the Paleo Hebrew, which I find interesting. So, in the ancient form, the Tav was an X. <laughs> X marks the spot. Generation X, you know, it goes on and on. So, here's the, here is the modern day version of the Tav and uh, blocks. Uh, I think it would be block, and block script or whatever. So, the Al. Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, signed and secured our covenant with Abba um, by his work on the cross, sign of the covenant, um, signed or cast out, trustworthy, Aleph is accomplished, planned, beyond what's next, ready to roll. So these are concepts which I really like being able to understand more of the concepts behind just the, the actual words. Because I'm a conceptual thinker, so that makes sense to me. So what um, Eric, this um, Eric did, he put this in a keyboard layout. So he transposed letters, like our alphabet letters, to what it would be in Paleo. So of course A, Olive, B, Bet, C. That would be the Shen. That's the ancient way to um, do it. Shen. D would be the Dalit, which is the triangle. I honestly, don't know what this E is yet. I'm not that advanced. I just started learning this, but it made a lot of sense. So what I did first is I broke down Nibiru through this. Now, we're going to go here, and so the end would be equivalent to the noon. The brazen laver, quickly sprout, lightning flash, which people seem to think there's a lot of lightning with this kind of stuff. So I, now is equivalent and I have to go over here and look at this. This is from the creator creation calendar, the creator calendar we've been talking about. Look at that. So he this whole door is set up like the tabernacle. You have the seven candlesticks, the menorah. You have offering of incense, the Ark of the Covenant, sh showbread table. Look at that. How interesting, huh? So doesn't this kind of look like that? So B, of course, would be bet. Dwelling place, a house for us to come. Now what really got me was cosmos. 
So this house could also be a cosmos, a reference to that, which kind of makes sense. I, and then Resh, manifest in his glory, ultimate revelation waited, longed for. Hyene, table of showbread. I discern. Interesting, huh? Understand, observe, weigh, and balance. So if you break this down, it kind of doesn't seem so, you know, out there. Now here I did this with, with Isaiah 54, 16. I looked it up, and I have created the destroyer to ruin. So if you look in the Hebrew, you have Smith. Can you say Mr. Smith from, you know, Matrix? Waster to destroy. So if it's truly, if, this, if the Paleo-Hebrew really works, and you can actually see, it would make sense. It would, they would create a flow with this. And so I did this also. So destroy your Dalit would be the door threshold. Collaborate with, with Abba. Of course, Bet would be house. Again, Cosmos. Here you have S. Here's that showbread again. Interesting. I don't know if I did the T. I apologize. I don't think I did. It's getting late. It took me forever to upload the last video. So you have um, O would be the menorah, the sonic letter. We are his branches. Light us up. The Zayin, only by keeping the vow shall one open the sealed entry. Red heifer sacrifice, because Yeshua was, was the red also, all the sacrifices, he, was, he, he took care of everything. He was cut off from his people. So, I looked at that and I thought, wow, it kind of, it does paint a different picture with this. And then also this would be in the Hebrew, I think. Gosh, I hope that is. Tav, Tav, um, Het, Shin, Fire, Mem. So, destroyer, I think in Hebrew is this. I'm not very, I'm still learning, so I'm not very good at this yet. I'm still learning on this. Now, what was interesting, I thought about Bond's blog when she said that first there will be a cataclysmic cosmic event. All mankind will see this event wherever they are on the face of the earth. This is your sign that I'm coming. You must go into your homes and gather your families to you. Pray to me to keep you and provide for you during the coming darkness. The darkness will descend within three days of this cosmic event appearing. The darkness will commence with an earthquake. Now this absolutely sounds just like Pesach, Passover. And that they were protected when the angel of death passed over and saw the blood on the doorpost. So I'm going to um, link this in the description box so you can see that. But I thought that was so interesting. So it kind of, when you break it down that way, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense. Now, again, I had, I hope I post, I don't know if I said this already, but I had a dream that I was, I think it was earlier this year, that I looked up in the sky and I saw these, these, um, I guess it was a huge moon and there were five celestial object, objects in the sky and um, I was telling my husband and my uncle about it. It's like, well look, you know, we were discussing it and I thought it was very interesting. Now we go through this and we're going to just connect the dots a little bit more and you go through this and it said, Israel's restoration, the promised land, and it talks about the res re return of Nimrod, um, echo of Babylon and the rebellion of Nimrod. So we know in the Bible codes it talked about the return of Nimrod in 2015, 2016. Um, and then here we are talking again about Passover. So it seems like there's a huge theme about this. And I'm going to link it in the, in the description box. And again, we're going to talk about what, what's this about. And we're not, I'm not the only one. People are really starting to learn and understand about this geocentric universe model with the Earth as a, the stationary center of the universe with the sun, moon, and stars circulating it. 
it will take some time to create new illustrations so please be patient that's what he's saying and, and yeah we've been taught so long it takes a while to read re adjust everything he who was unjust let him be unjust still who was filthy let him be filthy still he who was righteous let him be righteous still he who was kodesh sacred let him be kodesh still he said i'm coming quickly to give him my rewards um to what is with me to give everyone according to his work um, sanctified are those who do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city could that be the heavenly city i don't know there's some really interesting correlations with that um, out but outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and practices a lie. Make no mistake, the final test for all mankind will be upon who we worship. This is consistently demonstrated by whose laws and calendar we keep and follow. Will you choose the ever popular Roman paper wall calendar with its cycling planetary weeks for worship Daniel 725 or will you choose the creators perpetual astro lunar loony solar clock calendar is established in the courts above from eternity past for synchronizing worship of all his creation now I'm going to do some connecting here to see how this has been all along sundial now this is from Aaron's dreams and how many times she talked about sundial 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 is at 10 p.m. moving clockwise clockwise